Can any of you guess what my age is or in which grade I'm in? Am I in grade 3? <laughs> no. Grade 4? No. Then it must be grade 5. But no. I am in grade 7. Surprised? Yeah, I know. I get that all the time. After staying at home, attending classes online and meeting my friends virtually, the news of the school reopening made me a bit too eager that I started preparing for school two weeks earlier. I could not wait to see my friends and meet my new teachers. This was an opportunity to make new friends and have a fresh start. The night before the first day of school, I was so excited I could barely sleep as I could feel myself drowning in my thoughts. The following morning, the second the alarm clock rang, my eyes were wide open. I jumped off my bed and got ready in a jiffy. I waved my parents goodbye and boarded the bus. Upon reaching the school, I felt the mix of happiness excitement as well as nervousness. It seemed like there was a spring under my feet as I entered the classroom. I scanned the classroom to look for places to sit and saw an old friend pointing at an empty seat beside her. I happily went there and sat next to her. My bubble of excitement burst when we were all told to get up for the assembly. That's when I realized how tall she really was. In fact, everyone was way taller than they were the last time we had met. I looked at them shyly as I pushed through the crowd to go to the front. I saw a few of my old friends making fun of me, saying that I looked like a fourth grader. This made me so sad and upset that I stopped talking to them. I became so conscious of my height that I became nervous every time I had to talk to them because I always thought that they will judge me and laugh at me. To add to my misery, I also happened to be soft-spoken. There is this common misconception that all students who are loud, outspoken, spoken and have an outstanding personality are the star kids. They are the ones who get noticed, selected for various competitions and activities and are the teacher's blue-eyed students. I was labelled as an introvert by everyone. Who would like to be friends with a short-heighted, soft-spoken, fragile-looking, introverted girl? Whenever I did try to make friends, I failed because I didn't talk to them much. This further pushed me into a sea of sadness. I vividly remember how I burst into tears when my mom asked me how did the day go. She listened to me patiently as I continued narrating the incident. After that, she hugged me and consoled me by telling me that I have a secret power. The power of quiet. To lighten my mood, she suggested we watch a Harry Potter movie. Being a Potterhead, I really enjoyed watching it and shadowing the dialogues. Later that day, she told me that at times, one has to accept their limitations and use their other strengths to their advantage. She made me realize how skilled I was at mimicking Hermione Granger. The paintings I drew were so beautiful and my Kathak moves always garnered me praises. I might not be outspoken but I excelled in other areas and that I should work on my strengths and it will make me look confident and get noticed. She told me, that even though I'll have fewer friends, my relationships will be deeper and stronger. I felt all 
pumped up and ready to give my best. So I enrolled myself in an international speech competition organized by the Indian Embassy of Bahrain. Out of 600 plus participants from six different countries, I was able to clear two rounds and was one of the 12 finalists. This boosted my confidence and I was keen on sharing my learnings to the rest of the people who felt the same as I did. These learnings are number one, acknowledge your limitations. Except you can't have the life of the party because you're not made like that. You're built different. Number two, you are unique and have your own strengths. It's important to identify those strengths. And number three, don't try to mimic someone or alter your personality. On the contrary, work on your strengths, hone them till you outshine others around. So to all my fellow introverts, I would just like to say that introversion does not mean you're timid. It just means you're selective with the number of people you surround yourself with. You can use this power of quiet to introspect and look for the areas where you're stronger and ahead of peers. All you need to do is to overcome the self-doubt and follow your heart. As it is rightly said by Stephen Hawking, quiet people have the loudest mind. So use the unique power of quiet. Thank you.